Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at Hootsuite. So Hootsuite is a social media managing application. There's a free version and a premium version. And I actually use Hootsuite to manage all of my social networks, whether it be YouTube comments, Twitter, Facebook, you can even do uh, scheduling to Instagram now. So I'm going to give you a beginner's tutorial on how to set up and use Hootsuite to manage all of your different social networks because there's so many of them now and it's hard to keep track and it's nice to have one dashboard to where you can actually manage all of your different social networks. So let's go ahead and take a look around the UI first. So this is your main dashboard here. As you can see here, I have a different tile sets here. I have one, two, three, four columns. Uh, the first column here is going to be comments on my YouTube videos. The next one's going to be my uploaded videos. If I scroll down here, I'm going to be able to see all of my recent YouTube videos as well as the most recent comments down below them. And then over on the right here, you're going to see the Tech Guru Twitter account here. And then you're going to see my inbox or messages right here for my Tech Guru account as well. Uh, then I get another tab up here. So you have multiple tabs. I have my Technology Guru tab here. I have my Podcasters Unplugged tab here. It's one of my podcast shows. And then I have my Technology Guru Facebook page and stuff here within one tab here. So as you can see here, all of my stuff here is the Facebook page. And then I have Twitter on another tab. So as you can see, you can have multiple tabs if you have different accounts and different types of accounts. And then within those tabs, you can have multiple columns that provide you with different aspects of your social media. So if I go to my YouTube Creators Hub account here, you'll see our tab, I'm sorry, you'll see the mentions, you'll see my tweets, and then you'll also see my inbox where people may be sending me message over here. And then over here, I have my online business realm tab, which is basically my Instagram post here, my followers schedule post over on the right hand side. So let's talk about that for a minute. If I want to schedule a post with Hootsuite, how do I do that? Okay, the first thing you need to know how to do is actually add a social network. So once you've gotten so once you're logged into Hootsuite, you're going to see a few different things up here. You're going to see the ad stream, and then you're going to see the ad social network. The ad stream is actually going to allow you to utilize what you already inserted into Hootsuite. So whatever social media platforms or networks or accounts you've already synced up, you can do that. And a stream will be basically a column that you see here. So these columns, these are called streams. But first, we've got to add a social network. So click on the add social network button there in the upper left-hand corner. And then what you've got here are the very very prevalent social networks. You've got Twitter, Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, WordPress, Instagram, and yes, YouTube. So if you want to connect a Twitter account, all you'll have to do is select Twitter and then go to connect Twitter. And then it'll open the Twitter API. You log into your Twitter account and then click the blue button here that says authorize app. This will then allow you to set up a stream or one of these columns right here with that Twitter account. So if we go to add stream, what you'll see now is if we select Twitter, we can go here and go to mentions. And then what we'll do is again, so we'll select Twitter and then we'll go to mentions, click the little uh, addition symbol here and that will then create a column for my mentions. But first we have to select a profile. So the profile is going to be what account you want this to be from. So the account that we just set up, we will have to go in, select that account. So the technology guru Twitter account, and then go to mentions right here. And then that will add that stream. So if I go over here, now there is a fifth stream on the right hand side over here. That is my mention. So I'm actually going to delete that. You can delete streams by clicking the little thing in the upper right hand corner and then go to delete stream. And that's you know, extremely simple. Click the three dots there, go to delete stream, and that will minimize that stream. So again, you could have as many streams as you want or columns. I'm gonna call them columns because you can see them visually as columns here. You can have as many as you want. You can move them left to right if you want to organize them in a specific way. You can view them by columns like this. You can view them in standard mode or you can actually expand them to fit the entire screen. And then if you need to refresh the page to see the most up-to-date comments or tweets or whatever, you can just click the little refresh button in the upper left hand corner. So that's how we add a stream. So that's how we add a social network. And let's talk about how we're going to add a specific tab. So obviously, as you can see up here, I have multiple tabs, click the little addition symbol here next to the, your last tab. Or if you don't have any tabs, you'll see a little tab here that says create new tab, click the addition symbol, it'll come up with whatever you want to name that tab. So go ahead and title that tab there. And then when you're ready, just hit the enter button. And then that tab will be created. And then you can go in now and start adding adding new streams. So as you can see here, I can add a new stream for whatever social media account that I want to and then select like if it's 
you know, your tweets or your retweets, whatever you want to see in this specific column, you select the box associated with that specific account there. So that is enough about tabs and streams and how to add social media. Let's talk about the fun stuff within Hootsuite. So within Hootsuite, one of the best features is the ability to schedule out posts. So that way you can spend just one day working on scheduling posts for a couple hours a day. So let's talk about that now. You can see here on the left-hand side, the streams is the view we were just now looking in. But if we go to publisher with the little paper airplane there, you can see here here, all of the posts that I have scheduled out all the way until Tuesday. Normally, I spend a couple hours on Saturday, schedule out some posts, and that way all of my social networks are consistently looking as if I am, you know, active on those social networks at all times. And by being able to schedule posts with Hootsuite, it allows you to do that. So in order to schedule a post, all you have to do is up here in the Compose Message tab in the upper left hand of the screen here, all you have to do is click in the little box there that says send a message. And then on the left hand side, you're going to see all of your different social networks on the left. And then on the right is where you're going to type in your post. So if we go here and we go to type post here, okay, so whatever your post is going to be, it's going to be right here. And then watch what happens if we actually select a Twitter account down here, you're going to see a number that number is going to be how many characters you have left to fill up the 140 character slot within Twitter. Now, if you remove Twitter and select a let's say a Facebook page, you can do 2000 characters with a Facebook post. So it'll count down that as well. So it's a great way to understand and know whether or not you're going to be able to post it on that specific network due to the word or character count on that specific social network. So once we have our post typed up here, we can actually add links. The only downside about this, unless you get one of the higher paying premium versions of Hootsuite is when you shrink a link, that's Anyways, when you make a link smaller, right, uh, it actually goes to their native URL shortener, which is the hourly, uh, whatever they call it, their URL shortener. I like to use Google URL shortener because I can actually monitor which links are clicked, how many times and from where, but uh, that's the only downfall. You actually would have to go out of Hootsuite, copy the Google URL shortener, and then bring it back in Hootsuite. So that's not really a problem, but that's definitely one of the downfalls of Hootsuite. So you can copy a link here, press shrink and it'll shrink it to their native URL shortener there. And then as you can see here, we can attach media. So if you have an image, you can click that there and then choose the files you want to upload. And then the beauty of this is the scheduling or the calendar tab here. You can then say, if I click on the calendar, I can actually select a day that's coming up, select a time that's coming up on the calendar and then click the black schedule button on the right. And then once you've scheduled a post, you'll see it listed here in your scheduled post. It'll tell you the date that it's going to be released as well well as the time, and it'll also show you what social platform and account it's going to publish to. So that is how you schedule a post. Again, you just click up here, type the post out, click the calendar, select the date and time, and then go to schedule. So I'm gonna clear that out now. And then you can see here on your publisher, which times and dates you're going to have stuff published on which platforms. So you can view this a couple different ways. You can view it by list, you can view it by days, you can see here, you can view it by week, or you could even view it by month. This is the one that I like to do here, and you can see I do mine a week out, normally on Saturdays, but I did some stuff uh, last night to uh, do the video and show you guys a little bit about what's going on. So another great thing is to understand that Hootsuite has a Google Chrome extension. Uh, I had some technical difficulties to where I had to uninstall it for something I was doing on WordPress, but you can install that directly here from the native application, and that will allow you to uh, have something that's called a Hootlet, and anytime you're on a web page, you can click the little owl, and it will automatically redirect you to Hootsuite to uh, be able to post about that article or website address on the native Hootsuite account to whatever platforms you want to post to. You can also see under uh, under publisher the past schedule. So whatever's been scheduled before, you can see some that have been required that require approval from other team members. If you have team members working with you, if you're a social media manager, and then under contacts here, you're going to see the different contacts that I have on all of my different social media networks. So whatever account I have selected here or people I might have sent tweets to or sent me messages will all be here on my contact list. And then there's different apps, which is the phenomenal thing about Hootsuite suite is you can install exterior apps. Some of them are free, some of them are paid, uh, but it allows you to go even deeper in the social networking. So you see here, there's a YouTube one, a Storify. Uh, so basically you got VK profiles. Then you have the featured apps here. We can see which ones are more popular. Uh, SharePoint, Salesforce, if you want to do uh, more of the e-commerce thing. So go ahead, browse through the different apps and they're kind of work like plugins on WordPress and they'll just work uh, natively within the Hootsuite client.
So all in all, I would definitely recommend Hootsuite if you're someone who is doing an online business or you have a brand you're trying to grow. It's really hard to keep track of all the different social networks. And for me as a YouTuber, to be able to monitor all of my YouTube comments here in one stream is absolutely a fantastic feature to be able to go in and reply to these comments in one place and see what video they were posted on and not have to go to video to video. Now, there are easy ways of doing that, like with TubeBuddy to do that within YouTube, things like that. But it's a great way to have all of your stuff of kind of hosted in one dashboard. That's the, the probably my favorite feature. And then the ability, obviously, to schedule posts. Now, I'm gonna quickly show you what Hootsuite looks like on the mobile devices. So this is what the Hootsuite app looks like on your mobile device. So as you can see here on the mobile devices, you are in the Hootsuite uh, application here, and I can scroll up and down and see all of my different accounts that I've added here within the Hootsuite application. I have all of my Twitter accounts, all of my Facebook pages, all of my YouTube accounts and things like that, Instagram accounts, all of that is right here and is separated uh, within the specific streams that you saw earlier by the different columns. We can actually click on the, the schedule tab here and actually see the posts that are going to be scheduled in the future. And then we can actually compose a message by clicking on the pencil icon and then clicking the drop down menu there, selecting which social networks we want to post from and then type up that message. And then whenever we're ready, just go and press done and that will send that post now. Or we can even auto schedule it or add a custom time like we would with the desktop application here directly from the mobile application. So it's just another great way and feature that Hootsuite allows you to have a mobile application to do it all on the go if you want to, but primarily you're going to be using this here or the app mobile application as just a monitoring system as far as what is being scheduled and to make sure things are being posted correctly and everything looks good. So that's a little look at the Hootsuite mobile application. And again, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and slap the like button, share it with your friends and family. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you guys in the next one.